Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. Have you ever wondered what your drivers are in life? Those things that are sitting behind everything that you do, the decisions you make of a day and things like that. Have you ever thought what's actually sitting behind it? Well, in this podcast, what we're going to do is we're going to find your drivers, your priorities for right now that you might not realize are actually driving you. So this will take about 20 minutes, this process. One of my wonderful mentors, Mr. David Tierce, would taught me this many years ago. And it's something, it's coming to the end of the year. It's one of those things that I like to do to close out of the year and just see where I'm at. So if you are driving, pause this or actually pass this podcast and go to the next one because you want to do this. And, and please come back to it. You want to come back and do 20 minutes because this is about really seeing what drives you. So let's jump in. You ready to go? Pen and paper. We're going to do this as an active exercise. Okay, so the very first one. I'm just going to dive straight in, straight into this, and I'll explain more at the end. So what I want you to do is on your piece of paper, I want you to write down five things you want in life. Now, the secret to writing this stuff is, is don't overthink it. Just write down five things that you want in life, all right? The first things that pop in are generally the right things. We just go and get all serious and we, you know, we don't kind of, um, we overthink it. Trust, it's intuitive what comes in, Okay. The five things that you want in life. Just give you just a minute, not even a whole minute. Five things that you want in life. Okay. You should have five down in that amount of time. The next one is I want you to write down five values that you admire in others, five values. So values are kind of like how they show up in the world, the stuff you can you can feel is is in them. What, uh, what are five values in life that you admire in other people? It might be that they're hard workers. It might be that they, they take a stand for others in the world. It might be integrity. It might be loyalty. What are the values that you admire in others that you can see? Remember, you're not overthinking this. They, it's generally that we want the ones that pop in first. Don't go overthinking. So you should be able to have five by now. The next is you're going to write five adventures, five adventures that you want to do, okay? Five, that the first five things. Do you want to go and learn how to surf? Do you want to go and climb Mount Kilimanjaro? What do you want to do? do you want to go, I want to go to Antarctica. I want to go into space. Five adventures that you want to do. Write them down. Remember, no overthinking. Just let them pop in. If you're out on, you know, out doing a walk, or so many people listen to my podcast when they're out walking and stuff like that. Yeah, just uh, yeah, think about those things. It's great if you can do this exercise where you actually write everything down because there's a whole system to it, and then you can save it and use it. I like to do it on a yearly basis. It's part of my kind of year in review. Okay, so, so far you've got five things you want in life. You've got five things, five values that you admire in others. You've got five adventures that you want to do, okay? Now, the next one is think about five people, dead or alive, that you admire or respect. Five people, dead or alive, that you admire or or respect. Imagine if you could, you know, sit and have dinner with these people and just chat to them. Who would those people be? Remember, this is an intuitive exercise, not an overthinking one. Think about, you know, just as they come in, think, wow, okay, cool. Write that down. Five people that you admire, respect, dead or alive, that you'd like to spend some time with.
And then the last one is five possessions that you want. What are five possessions that you want? And this is different to the first one. The first one was five things you want in life. It could be that you wanted more time with your kids or something like that. This is actual possessions, five possessions that you want. A new surfboard. That's always on my list. I don't need any surfboards, but you can want. There's a difference between want and need. So write down five possessions that you want. Okay, should have them. So now you should have actually have 25 things. You'll have 25 items that you have written down, okay? So now we're going to play a bit of a game. Uh, again, this is like just, just hang in there, just be with it, okay? I promise this process is worth it. All right, I'm going to put a bit of quiet music on this time. When, for one minute, I'm going to get you to remove any three. Any three, I'm starting the timer. I'll have a bit of quiet music for a minute. I want you to remove any three. Remember, you're removing any three. Finishing up. Okay, and that's time on that one. Okay, so what we're going to do now is you're going to eliminate five. Five. Off your list of 25, which came down to 22, now you're going to eliminate five out of the remaining 22. Go. Go. Removing, not removing, eliminating any five. 18 seconds left. And stop. Okay. Oh, just turn the music down. Okay. How was that? Getting a little bit harder? It's interesting. All these things that, you know, are important to us. It's interesting to just do a gentle cull. Speaking of culling, right now you're going to eliminate three, but this time you're only going to get 30 seconds. Well, you've had a minute. I'm just going to set a new, okay, a new alarm, and we're off. Eliminating three in 30 seconds. Go. <laughs> Any three, what are you going to eliminate? And that's time. Stop. Let's turn the music down again. Okay. 
this right. Okay. Okay, so now, so you've taken away three, taken away five, taken away three. Now you're going to remove, eliminate another five, and I'll give you one minute to do that. One minute to do that. Go. Eliminating five. Finishing that one up, three seconds to go, two, one, and finish. Okay. Take the music down. Oh, multitasking here. This is interesting. Okay, and then the last one left. You should have 10 left, 10 things left on your list. You got rid of three, got rid of five, got rid of three, got rid of five. Now you're going to eliminate five. I'm going to give you one minute again. Okay, I know you're probably squirming by now, but you can only have five left on your list. Go. Twenty seconds to go. You can only have five left. Five left. That's all you can have. Sorry, before left. You won't have five before. Ten, fifteen. Yes, trick you. You should have four left. Oh, I tricked you. You don't have to be clever to run a podcast. Okay, three, two, one. Half the fun is that that probably put your brain in a spin because you're thinking, but I haven't got five left, I'll only have four left. That's half the fun of it. That's half the fun of it. All right, so where are you at? Where are you at? Have a look at that four that you've got left because it's interesting. They are your four biggest priorities in life right now. So the question to ask is, you know, where are you and how are you spending your time are they leading to what is actually your biggest priorities or are you keeping yourself busy doing other stuff and that's sitting nagging you in the background, whether it's, you know, that you want to have more time with your kids, but work-life priorities and things haven't got you doing that. And they're the kind of things, the little stresses that just bite at us day after day after day. This is a really interesting process to do. I actually did it again recently, recently because uh, since I was 12, I've wanted to go to Antarctica. I really wanted to go to Antarctica. Uh, I remember I used to buy the the Australian newspaper when it first started in the early 70s. I used to, I remember I used to, out of my own pocket money, I'd buy this newspaper. The reason I bought it was in page two and page three of the Australian newspaper back in those days. They'd have the ads for the jobs that were on in Antarctica. And it lit me up as a 12, 13-year-old. I thought, oh, I want to go to Antarctica. And so that sat with me all the way through my life. And here I am at 62, and I've recently connected with a bunch of people who have done the Antarctica stints. And even only uh, two weeks ago, the jobs for next year's, you know, next seasons, winter and summer stints, have come up. And I would incredibly happily be, um, be a kitchen hand. It's, it's the most overqualified. Everyone who goes and does kitchen hand and and kind of room cleaner is the most overqualified job because people just want that experience of working in Antarctica. And I absolutely, it's up there. That's so high up there for me. And yet I really had to think about this. Am I going to apply or not? And so I used this as a process to see what were my true 
priorities in life at this time, at this time. And as much as Antarctica is right up high for me and has been for a long time, as that as an adventure I want to do, right at this time, it's not a priority. And I went, okay, cool. But I used this as a system to be able to find out what my true priorities were. And that's what I encourage you to do with it. So you can actually go to the show notes. You'll go there on my website, which is www.healthylifehacks.com.au. And you can print this out, copy it, print it out, whatever you want to do, because I really encourage you to keep it as a system. I just keep these questions, the, the system of it, on my phone in my notes section. Uh, and it's a thing that I like. It was a resource I drew on two weeks ago because I thought I need to rule this thing in on out because it's time to apply right now. Um, but it's the kind of thing I'll generally do at the end of the year. I, you know, I sit and do my goals and contemplate all next year and everything. It's part of that process. But I thought I'd throw it out here now because it, it's coming to the end of the year now. As I record this, it is uh, a week to Christmas. And I thought it's a great one for you to have it as a tool as well because it, it's invaluable. And I learned it, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. And it's always stuck with me. So I hope it's of use to you. And I know it gets really squirmy because you've got like 30 seconds to eliminate three things and then it's gone. I'm like, <laughs> it's like it's really hard. But that's what it's meant to be because it will show you you have to actually choose what your priorities are in life. So use this. I really encourage you to remember, go to the show notes, www.healthylifehacks.com.au and copy this out. Maybe I save it in my notes on my phone, print it out, whatever, chuck it on your computer, I don't care. But I promise it's a, uh, it helps me as a tool to be able to, well, make choices at different times when there's a lot going on. So I hope you enjoyed that process. It's only a quick process. It's like, you know, within maybe 20 minutes, if that. Uh, it doesn't have to go for a long time, but it's incredibly effective. Have fun with it, finding out what your priorities are in life. See ya. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast. Every month, I draw one lucky person who leaves a review, have a free one-hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, remember, when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.